How are you, my friends? It's been a long time. Miss you so much. Yeah, thanks. Thanks to you. I, maybe, I, uh, thanks. maybe years we never chat together. And uh, yeah. today I'm very happy, very excited to meet you, make a chat with you. Thanks for accepting my effort today for music interview. I uh, send you the question before, all right? Sure. Greeting from a right. Much love and respect to you, my friend. Uh, this series of music interview is very important to me to understand the artists around the world, to communicate with them. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to ask you today nine questions. I had a new question in my series. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, you are very talented. You have a lot of things. You are a painter, you are a musician, and yeah, I try to do as much as possible because we we live too. Uh, our life is too small. I know. So I know I, that. I want to concentrate everything I can <laughs> and leave. I know. I know that you live in Italy, right? Italy. Yeah. From Italy. How was yeah. art in Italy? Movies, music, painting. Um, it's a really a hit or miss thing. Uh, we have a very important uh, and seminal artists in any kind of genre, visual, experimental music, and so on, literature, and so on. But they are very few, and they still the underdogs. And uh, the art in Italy is never considered a proper job or something to respect, as it, it was once, you know. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, nowadays artists, uh, anyone can claim to be an artist. Uh, so people kind of dismiss the whole thing. Like, you are an artist? Yeah, get a real job. Uh, well, <laughs> so the, it's kind of uh, Something sad. weird. Yeah, it's kind of <laughs> sad because we are in the same land, like the, uh, the Italians always say, uh, of Leonardo da Vinci, uh, Michelangelo, Raffaello, yes, yes, uh, the great names, yeah. the know. great names. But once they see you and uh, your art, yeah, they like it. But you're still alive. So yes, the same the... as in Iraq, the same thing yeah. in Iraq. Get a job, marry yeah. kids, and the same circle. Yeah, they get the same care. circle. They never care about art. Never care about the creative. No, anything. yeah. They are kind of, yeah, they became lazy, I think, to, to explore, to, to, to try something new, you know. Uh, even, even the drug scene, I always say to my friends for joking, we are living in the worst dystopia ever because we haven't virtual reality, great virtual sex or new drugs to try. Everything, we are just everything. everything. Yeah, Ooh. it's just a bad, cheap dystopia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, should we start our interview? The first yeah. question. Okay, okay. So, okay. my friend, the first question, how do you start mm -hmm. making electronic music and become an artist? Your journey? Well, it, it was a very early thing I had since I was a child. I, I used to, to draw on the walls of our house, um, pissing off my dad to no end. And uh, so uh, he was already uh, an alcoholic and was very abusive, but uh, thankfully my mother managed to escape from him and, uh, and let me be. Uh, so since the early childhood, I always painted and uh, listened to music. And when they asked me, kid, yeah, kid, yeah, when I was three or four, really, I began to read at three years old. You had talent. Yeah, yeah, I, I had some talent. Uh, yeah, so yeah. Your father is a painter, musician. What's this? Uh, my father was an alcoholic, and Ooh. this is all you know. So uh, drugs, alcohol, yeah. and a lot of things. Yeah. I'll, Alcohol and uh, and that's it, you know. And still he is around. Uh, I I don't. I met him uh, once every twelve years or so, but uh, he went away luckily because he was an abusive uh, person and not good for me. So uh, I started very early, and uh, when people asked me since I was uh, 
fifth grade or first grade school. Uh, what do you want to do when you grow up? Uh, I, I want to be a musician and the inter, a great to, to make something beautiful. That was my answer. And people were like, just like me, just like me. Yeah, we're like, what do you mean? <laughs> But I was reading and was, uh, and uh, as far as I went on, uh, 14 years old, I bought my first musical instrument, which was a bass. Bass, the first instrument. Yeah, uh, uh, I'm left-handed, but I had to learn any any instrument to play like a right-handed. So I learned time to time, uh, organ, piano, by guitar. By yourself, no one teach you, right? By yourself. Oh, no. oh by myself, yeah. Just like me, um, yes. Yeah, <laughs> it was yes. less pressure from behind uh, and you progress and more with enthusiasm yes only by yourself all of this yeah. music that kind of art painting incredible yeah. person <laughs> uh, love you so for, much my friend you are very for, talented for, thank you for painting though i i went to hard school uh so i had a proper education in uh, visual arts Uh, so people can't blame for my paintings. They can blame me for my music. <laughs> right. Okay, should we jump to second question? And, okay. Uh, what made you want to become a musician? I was struck by how powerful uh, a simple riff can make you feel. A simple bass or guitar riff can make you feel. I remember being 14 and hearing Pulp by Godflesh. Pulp by Godflesh uh, have two riffs, and one of those is one note. Tan, tan, tan. Tan, tan, tan. Yeah. That song dropped people nuts, me included. I was like, you see the approach with an instrument, how powerful can one note be? And this will lead me on with my life over now to play drone with violins and viola and cellos because one note can really shock you. And this was to me a, a new kind of language which I never took in consideration before Uh, I just listen, but seeing a concert, uh, a VHS bootleg, actually, of uh, Godflesh, and hearing Pulp, I was uh, struck by that. Okay, so you play a lot of instruments in one time. Violin, yeah. guitar, bass, piano. Yeah. Yeah, you are a band, organ, uh, drums. A lot of fans by yourself, all of that. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I have no education, no academy. No, 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 no. I can afford that, and I don't want that. Oh my God, you're <laughs> very, very just like me. Yes, all of that by myself. Electronic music, genre, it's writing, great. It's series. Fun. It's fun because you don't know the instrument. So I play record on the first very sessions I approach the instrument as KG Aino do as well with mm. some instruments and make some great sources for material that you can treat, distort and warp. And it's amazing because after you, you learn to play more technical things and in key, Uh, but what I love is the first approach because you really are like a child which has musical knowledge so you can use it to your own purpose even if you don't really get it and that's uh, that is really fun to me of course I have a normal music knowledge by myself music theory and it's very hard but yes by the time it will become easy To understand. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so question three. Do you have any hobbies or interests outside of music? 
Gosh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 that's problem. I, I'm a big, big music, uh, com, comic book geek. Uh, I'm a big uh, movie geek. Oh, uh, a collector. I really, yeah, I, I really, uh, I really like to, and I really like to watch st- stupid videos of slow motion things. Which, which you find on YouTube, you know, but on late night when I used to decompress from the day, um, it's the only time of the day I smoke a cigarette and I keep watching like two hours straight of slow motion videos. Slow of, motion videos. You watch, okay. Yeah, of, of things getting smashed slowly. And this really is a hobby for me because uh, I I search for those kind of videos and they really suit me. Aside from movies uh, and books, uh, uh, which really get into music, everything gets into music or painting. So they are not a really a real hobby. They're more like food for the process of artistic process I try to bring in. So the real hobby are slow motion videos of uh, of things getting crushed slowly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay, okay, okay. So uh, another question, what kind of music gear do you use and why? What kind of music I listen? No, gear, your music gear. What kind of music uh, gear. gear you use? Yes. Yeah. Uh, any kind of music that is uh, not, uh, to use a modern term, cringe. You know, uh, if the music, if that music is silly on purpose, like Primus or Residence uh, uh, or Ronaldo and the Loaf, uh, which are actually not very comical, but have that sort of hysterical maniac thing going on, it's fine. Uh, but every any genre is kind of my thing. Uh, I lean more towards the, the field recordings and concrete stuff, like Alan Lamb or uh, Marchetti or, uh, uh, oh God, I'm terrible okay, okay, on okay. I know. Your <laughs> I know. Okay. Ake Hodel, uh, Angus MacLeese, and all the stuff, which uh, is very minimal, very primitive, but gives me a, a lot of emotion because you hear the, the happening in that moment of what is going on, what they are building. And it's beautiful. Of course, beautiful. Much beautiful. Yeah. Okay. And that is the main reason of why I make music as well. Because there is something happening and I want to tell you what's happening through clues in form of music. And that, that's my fu- funny <laughs> okay, way okay, to... Okay, okay. Very interesting. So, okay, then another question... Who is your favorite artist or person you look up in the industry? Your favorite artist? Oh, God. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm I, a million I, artist you have. <laughs> I have really a sort of, uh, how to say, of uh, church of my own, <laughs> where there is Ross Williams because mm-hmm. of his uh, spoken word stuff and uh, premature ejaculation stuff, uh, more industrial experimental thing, which was very underrated, but has giant, giant uh, impact on me. It is very huge, beautiful music. Uh, I have uh, uh, Angus MacLeys, which was the ex-drummer for Velvet Underground, uh, which went off to explore a whole thing of weird drone, percussive uh, lo-fi tape music, and John Cale above everyone else, John because 
yeah, uh, the viola from Velvet Underground, because he he teached me as a producer to to experiment as and push further the things as much as possible because he did all the music, the arrangements for the Marble Index by Nico, uh, for Desert Shore, The End uh, by Nico, and his music as well, and Patti Smith, and the first The Stooges album. Uh, so he did so much and with such strength uh he's an academic so <laughs> uh but uh, i am a primitive but i really look up to him and his uh, work as uh, as a whole thing because it was incredible to me you know still it is incredible because he's 80 and he's kicking ass of course he's <laughs> kicking ass <laughs> <laughs> it's not letting go he makes uh, some of the heaviest beats uh, not even Kanye West do and uh, he revolved uh, a sad record uh, like music for a new society which was very classy and very intimate into something with beats explosions and spoken words and drones uh, and distorted stuff and <laughs> and it's brutal <laughs> yeah, of course brutal yeah, a lot yeah, of things and, he can do but yeah he can do okay so another question uh, so do you think anyone can be a musical artist anyway what do you think anyone can be a musical artist well, uh, it's, the, it's the kind of situation we have to nowadays because anyone can bring a guitar, Pro Tools, and uh, with enough confidence can do something, can bring his own vision onto the world and into the net. But uh, with enough, there is a, a difference for me between being a good musician which you can do with practice and passion and being an artist, which requires something you have inside. And not everyone got that. That it's is like something. a flame inside your soul. Explore. Yeah, but even aside from the flame is the, um, the thing that, you, uh, as people we, um, who have charisma, you know, uh, you can't buy charisma. You can teach yourself to be more handsome, more, okay, I'm talking in this way, I'm more beautiful, I'm more confident, but you'll never have the charisma that that person, like, don't know, Brad Pitt, will have, even when he's drunk as fuck and down on the table like that. Because <laughs> even when he is like that, he will, he will beat you, you know? <laughs> and <laughs> and it, that is the same way being an artist. So not everyone can be an artist. The charisma is very important. Yeah, because there is artist. something hey, inside, uh, yeah. Okay. Which is like, a, yeah. Charisma, charisma, okay. So, another question. What is your main inspiration? Main inspiration? Yes. Uh, yeah. I have to, to be really, uh, how, how to say, melodramatic in saying this, but it's uh, fear of death. The fear of dying. And the fear of from dying? Yeah. My, I live in a, in a bad general anxiety state and I try to convey all that into music and paintings. So the, the fear of dying is really what drives most of my, my art. Yeah, shocking things. Yeah, it's, it's a very normal thing because people say we all die. Yeah, but... In the end, as, yes, we, are, we all die. 
we all die, but it's not fair to me. You know, like Salvador Dali said once, you know, uh, when he was nine and uh, his uh, mother died and uh, he took that personally. He took that as like, you death, what the fuck have you, you done? You know, to me, you, you took my mom away from me. How dare you? And, you know, it, it sounds pretentious, crazy, but it, I feel the same in many, in many times a day because to me, life is uh, all we got. So my music is uh, a, a really dreadful excess of life. And uh, I try to express as much as I can. And uh, of course, there are more artistic sides. There are more uh, things dedicated to one movie or one, one artist, which inspired me to create a certain album or disc or artwork. But most of all is fear, fear and anger. Uh, um, much anger. <laughs> uh, I, I am a quiet person, but I convey much anger. You're nice, music. handsome, and <laughs> Too kind. <laughs> Too kind. <laughs> well, that's true. Uh, okay, should we jump, jump to another question? Yeah. Okay. What is your creative process? My greatest process? Creative process. Ah, uh, God. <sighs> I really don't know how to answer this because every every kind of process is uh, is really to his own. But I think I push myself a lot and uh, through the burnout, you know. Uh, once I start to record something, uh, I don't give up or go to sleep. Or if I have an idea, I pursue to reach it and I play for hours. I have uh, like hours of material, which I use like for five seconds. Uh, I have entire hours of me jamming along and treating sounds, uh, which comes off in two minute music piece. And I really push myself too far sometimes because I tend to exaggerate. And this is where anger <laughs> is really unleashed. Uh, but- Unleashed uh, in your artwork. Yeah, exactly. But I try to, late to manage and really plan something must sound i suffer from uh, synesthesia when you see sounds uh, when you hear smells you know that kind of uh, uh, stuff uh, and being uh, uh, having synesthesia helps me a lot to paint with words uh, a clear process of sound. So I really get the color and the nuance. It's a very difficult process though, because uh, it must match everything. It's a really three-dimensional thing. And it's diff I thought everyone was experienced this thing. Like it's clear you see music it's clear you see the color of a word, but I understood it's not that that common. And so suffering from synesthesia is very peculiar in making music and art. And that's so, all I have. <laughs> it's really strange. Yeah, it's really yes, strange. Yes, yes. I know, I know. And it's, it's, really I, I under, it's like being on drugs all the time. And so this is why I'm sober from almost 20 years because <laughs> I don't need drugs. And 
So you don't like drugs or alcohol? Uh, I I did in the past, but I don't from almost drink 20 for, years. For more inspiring, I think. Uh, I don't drink it. I don't do drugs. I just smoke cigarettes. And I'm very sober, but suffering from synesthesia is like being on, you know, on, on white weed of all the time. So <laughs> I don't need drugs. <laughs> I'm already. <laughs> I'm already screwed. Of course. <laughs> I'm okay. already fried. Oh my God. You're amazing. <laughs> okay. The last question. Uh, what yeah. strength do you have that really make you a great musician? What? Sorry. What strength do you have that you believe make you a great musician? Oh. Uh, I can adapt easily. I I adapt easily on uh, on the whole uh, thing. You know, if a band, uh, if a black metal band is asking me to be a singer in their band for screaming, a piece, uh, yeah, yeah, black metal uh, band. Yeah, uh, I do drone experimental music but if you ask me okay i need an artwork for a reggae band uh i can do it i mean a logo uh, logo band yeah logo uh, production uh mastering services uh, interesting interesting yeah. my friends i, I can really is much greater Continue. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I try to, uh, uh, you know, to make as much as possible as I told you in the beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, I try to make as much as possible, and to leave a footprint, to leave a trademark, because uh, I really want to people to, when they see or hear something, to say, okay, that's Danny. That, yeah, that's that's him, the... that's him you know. So uh, I really learn a lot from many great people like Slizzy from Coil or Madonna Wayne Gatsby from Marilyn Manson. Uh, I learn a lot uh, from them because they were and are genuine friends. And in their years, I learn how to be versatile is the first thing. Uh, as much as playing many instruments as you do, uh, applying all that to anything. Uh, so uh, it, it's, it took a lot of effort. <laughs> and, uh, it's tiring, but it's beautiful. That is my main strength. That's your main great your own music style. So can yeah. people recognize your music, your art? And that's yeah. Daniel, right? okay. yeah, to have a brand. Well, in Iraq, no one care about art. No art, unfortunately. Yeah. Too bad. No. Uh, here, here, here is the same. Most of the people who support me are not, are not from... No uh, support from, in Iraq. No support. Yeah, which is quite sad because I understand my music isn't for everyone. Uh, I understand that. But give it a chance, you know, give it a try. <laughs> okay. Well, that's, you see that the mark remaining meeting. Okay. Yeah. That's because I have a basic account on Zoom. Oh, okay. Upgrade. Don't okay, worry. Okay, no, don't worry. Okay, okay. Let's continue. We have just 10, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. And, okay. um, to be honest, when I go to an Institute of Fine Art in Iraq, I see the teachers, I see the Institute, no one care about art, nothing. That's shocking me a lot. Yeah, the, I people, live the same. My country, no one care. No one love art, no one. Electronic uh, music it, field, no one. What's it is really, music? I mean, it's What's really art? sad because you have such a great art there. Even for sacred places, you know, uh, they have a lot of intricate, beautiful colored art. And uh, 
that really stood out in time, in centuries. So keeping that from your country, uh, you know, as in Italy, uh, we, we had great artists, great men, which did immortal things, but no one care anymore. Uh, so yeah, we carry 50 people out of uh, 26 million people, you know? <laughs> yes, we can change a 40 million. I can change a 40 million. I can change a yeah, 40 we can't. million. No, no, no one. Day by day, Iraq going down. Yeah, That's we, too we bad. The, the same problem is, and, and it's sad because so art, sad, my friend. So sad. Yeah, because no, no support, uh, nothing. People, people don't get that even movies, video games, or a car style is art. Even the chair no we are sitting on is made by an artist. No one if, you know, even the bookshelves we we have in at home are made by artists. So they should consider more how important the art is for anything, for even really uh, useful things, because without someone um, drawing, uh, I don't know, uh, a, for, a proper furnace, uh, that requires a certain kind of artistry. You can just make a hole <laughs> and throw fire in it, you know, to cook something. You'd choke. You have to to build a shape, a proper shape, and a proper way for the smoke to go out. You know, you have to be, uh, you have to consider art as a useful tool for life in general, because it's everywhere. Because art uh, is life. Art is life. Art everything. It's life. life. It's our clothes. It's our. It's your headphones. It's, uh, it's. I sacrifice my... my friend. I sacrifice everything for art. Every yeah, I inch, did. my club. But no yeah. one cares at the end. This is a shocking result that's make me yeah. much angry. Yeah, it may, it makes me. Uh, once I was angry as well. Now I am really sad. I am really uh, sad because I don't see people giving me something else in return. You know. Uh, at le some people say, and uh, which I am okay with, they say, I don't like art, music, uh, just what is like... Art? What is the movie? Art, yeah. nothing. Maybe, but, but maybe, you know, uh, they are uh, sport people, you know, they have something, they have a passion at least, uh, which I don't, uh, don't like, but okay. You have something else. You have family. You have love. Art, you have uh, art is not a job. Art is not all good to you. that. They, job, money, that kids, is, get married, have kids. That circle, yeah. that circle, the, destroy the you circle. and destroy me. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. The that circle I tried destroy to apply. More greater, killing yeah. your soul. I I tried. I I can say I really tried to be inside the circle to be a but teacher you, you can't but you can't yeah mm -hmm. I, I i was a teacher for five years and i loved my job and i was uh, with a normal relationship looking for getting married or getting a home uh you know to form a family kids but, and the circle the same story. yeah but just yeah forming the circle you know but of ideology, the same ideology. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not able to enter the circle and being happy because after a while I had a real existential dread, like Thomas Ligotti, full dread, full panic. Because being that just that is dreadful to me. We are much more than this, any one of us. And um, be free, my yeah. friend. Be free. Don't get the yeah. circle. Yeah. Be free. Or be happy. Make if it you like, and if you like your circle, is perfectly fine. 
you know, you like to have a family, a work, a normal life. It's beautiful. But your art going down day by day, no creative. Yeah. The circle but, control you. Yeah, but some people like that. It's more reassuring. But yeah, for I me, know some people, uh, yes, yes, some people uh, like that. And for me I'm and a, you, we don't care about the circle. Yeah, I, I only, that. I wish people will understand that our words is a circle as well, because it's learning things, making things, and becoming artists. That is our circle. That is like making family for us. And uh, it has this, almost the same importance uh, because we bring to the world something they can use and, uh, and that can last as, as a kids for some, you know, uh, many people do that. keep, yeah, just to endure their name. I make music to, to make mine. And that's the, the thing. It's really similar and people should respect us more because of that. Yes. But you it, see now the remainder meeting time, that's Mark. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't see I don't see anything because yes, yes, I'm but he write to me a romantic mark two minutes and uh, the video okay will down. okay thank you so much for everything my friend for a great interview Thanks great you. moment I'm very happy very excited to make a conversation great. with you greeting from Iraq much peace and love to you my friend and uh, I wish you in the future much. making music together make a collaboration audio maybe and sharing yeah, that music. would be fun why not yeah. <laughs> That would be nice. Stay from the circle and let's start making up. Yeah, let's keep it a circle spreading. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And uh, see you around. Have a great day. A greeting from my thank lovely you. country. Keep doing art. Love Never your slander. country. Be, Bless be strong, you. be strong. God bless you, my friend. See you soon. Bye-bye. See you soon. Bye.